Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another action figure video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee. And uh, just before I get into this, um, this is actually a gift for a friend, but he said I could go ahead and take a look at it before I give it to him. So, here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So, oh, hold on, i got to stand him up because he's not one to stand in the stance okay there we go <laughs> so here we have bumblebee crossing his arms looking like a boss studio series bumblebee movie bumblebee he is an autobot he is from hasbro and apparently takara so hasbro and takara are working together for the studio series line which is pretty cool um on this side, you got the same picture, just bigger. Uh, Studio Series, he is number 18, this version anyway. The first version, which is the old Camaro, is number one. Um, Transformers, Bumblebee, window, bottom, bunch of legal jargon, warnings, whatnot. On the back, he transforms in 22 steps. You have a um, Charlie's Garage background. And, you know, yada, 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 Bumblebee, big screen inspired, scale, detail, all that kind of stuff. Then you got the rest of the figures in this wave. You got Jazz, you got Ratchet, you got um, Shadow Raider right there. And the whole background details, you know. And this is from Hasbro, like I just said, and all that kind of stuff. And um, let's just go ahead and take a look at the background. And then we will take a look at the figure. Now, you gotta take that out. And then here's the background. And there go the instructions. Which are not helpful for my hear. I mean, I didn't really look at them because... And I bumped the camera. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hear the instructions aren't that great. So, I mean... That's just what I hear, but I don't know, I haven't really studied or looked at the instructions. I may do that later just so that I can tell my friend, you know, hey, instructions aren't trash, hey, they're not trash, you know, whatever. Um, so here's the background, and as you can see, it is of Charlie's Garage, so that's pretty cool, you know. So that's Transformers up there, you got the Autobot logo, number 18, Studio Series, and then bring it in, you got the background, and it says Transformers Bumblebee down there, which is pretty cool. So that's the background, and I don't remember it looking so smush, maybe that was me, maybe that was the box, I don't know. But anyway, moving right along, um, here is Bumblebee, and holy crap, guys, he is so tiny. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, he is, he is literally tiny, and, um, yeah, um, let me just stand him up straight real quick so that you can see just how tiny this guy is. I mean... He kind of see me futzing around with him already, trying to get him Manila posed, and he is just tiny. I mean, look, here he is with a Clone Wars R two D two. Hold on, stand, Bumblebee, stand. So there he is with R two. There you have that. Not convinced? Well, here he is with a Clone Wars Captain Rex. The Commander Stone, uh, with the Commander Stone mold. So, still not convinced? Okay, well, here he is with... You gotta raise the camera up for this. Here he is with a Clone Wars General Grievous. And you may be thinking, but Grievous is shorter. Well, that's because of it. his legs are all angled and whatnot. But if you straighten them out... And the hips don't get paint stuck. Grievous actually towers Bumblebee. Or not by much, but... I mean, up to up to the door wings. 
up to the window of the uh, door wings. They stand about the same height, but but comparing head sizes, I mean, he's like half a head taller than him. So this guy's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, might as well call him uh, uh, an oversized scout class. So, anyway. There you have those comparisons, and that's all the... Those are all the comparisons I have, really. So, um, maybe I'll figure something out for vehicle mode and pause the camera, that kind of thing. I don't know, but... Anyway, he has accessories that are on the figure right now. He comes with his, um, his sword, his arm sword, which just tabs into his arm. You know, it can simply pop off, which is always a pain because it's so tight. And I'm trying not to break it because, like I said, it's not my figure. Okay, there we go. Just wedge it off the arm that way. Um, like, yep. Okay. <laughs> it tabs in like so. So, you know, just tab it in, and then when you want to take it off, just wiggle it. It'll pop off. So there's the arm. Uh, uh, well, it is a sword, but I think it's called the Stinger Sword. I don't know. Let me look real quick. Uh, yeah, I can't realize. The box doesn't really say. Here's his Stinger Blaster, which is not transformable into his regular arm. You just simply unpeg this, put it off to the side, and hey, regular arm. And then you just peg that in. And then the Battle Mask, you can swap this. Uh, I did leave a little bit of a space because, one, it's very tight to put this in, and then, you know, ah, creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> but swap that, and then here's his normal face right here. And we'll take a look at this in a moment because, ooh, this is tiny. So there we go, peg, peg that in. And this pegs in real easily, so that's why I don't really leave a gap. But there, there's his face. He's got blue eyes and an Autobot logo on his forehead. Cute. He's a cute little bumblebee. Now let me zoom in real quick. Okay, and taking a closer look, you can see just the amount of detail in this head sculpt. I mean, the Autobot logo on the forehead, the sculpted vents in his cheeks, you know, or cheek pieces, I guess. And just everything about this guy is just very well done, very well painted, detailed. I mean, I don't think they could, I mean, they, they could have added some paint like here or whatever, but I mean, it's not really important to put paints in like the underside of the wheel well or whatever, because I mean, it'll only be visible in robot mode. The only issue I really have is the head is so hard to manipulate, and it's partly because of this piece, um, because it tabs in, and I started uh, in robot mode for a reason, but it just tabs in right there. Like, you cannot, you know, force this upwards anymore, which kind of sucks. And it's because of these little, these little uh, pieces right here. So, but, I mean, other than that, you know, this, this is a really cool little figure. Um, I just don't know how easy it would be uh, photographable in, uh, you know, outside kind of surroundings. I mean, maybe on the beach or something, but other than that, I mean, I really don't know. Which is why I'm getting rid of my Transformers Prime figures. I mean, if they were the upscaled Hui Jane type figures, you know, that'd be a bit of a different story. But since they're not, you know, not really gonna keep them. Um, I mean, I, I have no problem with Transformers, it's just, you know, I'd rather have some that are, that I can use for pictures and photographs and all that kind of stuff, and if I have to pay money to, you know, buy dioramas and find space for them and all that, especially if they're 3D, then I'm not going to do it, but 
Anyway, articulation, uh, <laughs> articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint so you can get very minimal wiggly waggly. It's there, but it's very subtle. You get rotation, you get downward movement. He doesn't really look up or down very much. Um, shoulders are on a ball joint. They could go at about 90, but you can use the transformation hinge to get way past 90. And then you can move them down, you can rotate them, but all this door stuff gets in the way. Um, the elbows bend in slightly over the 90 degrees, so that's good. Have a swivel at the elbow, which is pretty tight, so I'm not gonna, or, or here, there we go. It was just a little stuck. So there's that. You have a ratcheted hinge at the wrist, which I kind of do wish it was on pins instead of just friction, but hey, it is what it is. And you have a waist rotation, and it's mostly for transformation, but you can use it for posing the figure as well. He can get those high kicks forward. He can kick back, and let's see if he can... Uh, do the Jean-Claude Van Damme, and he can kind of do it. I mean, we'll give it to him. He's got, oh, this thigh swivel doesn't work. It just loves to pop off for some reason. I don't know why. So, that being said, I'll try to get this back in, and we'll do it over here. Yep, he can, you can use the thigh swivel on this one. He has a 90 degree knee joint, and then... His ankles can move uh, this way and that way, and uh, he moved down, I guess, and then up a little bit, and then you get a lot of ankle pivot. Like this is ankle breakage at this point, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of ankle pivot. So you'll be able to get him into some really good poses, just like you saw earlier on. So, I guess now we will move on to the transformation. And what I'll do here is I'll transform him into vehicle mode. And then, during my final thoughts, I'll transform him back into robot mode. So, how are we going to do this? We will take the chest pieces and just kind of straighten them out, like so. And then we will take, we'll come back here, take these pieces, fold them out like so, and then take these window bits, fold them up, fold the secondary wings up, and then untab this, straighten that out, and it'll clip in, fold this out, and then this came untabbed already, so we'll just go ahead and untab this, flip the wrists in, bring the arms out, bring them up where the yellow is facing towards you, same thing on the other side, like that, and then we'll go ahead and work on the legs now. Now the legs, you just want to take the ankles, shift them back because they're on a double hinge, untab this, and this is on a double hinge, and then those, the top joint is also on a slider, which, hold on, okay, so the top hinge is on a slider, so you just want to shift it inward as far as you can and um, we'll leave this for now just do the same thing on the other side shift this back untab this and shift this inward you can see what I'm doing <laughs> um, and then let's go ahead and rotate the waist and then what we'll do now is we will come back here and hopefully you can see this. If you can't, I apologize. Um, just kind of just kind of angle this and tab this slot in or this tab into that slot. And then just kind of do the same over here. Bring these pieces up like so, 
And if that'll stay out of the way... <sighs> Sometimes this can be a bit irritating. You know what? Um, let's just tab all this together back here. And... This is not making it easy for me, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you want to tab the shins together. See, they're tabs. And you want to interlock them like that. Or something similar to that. It takes some finagling to get all this into place. Once you have it all situated, it should... Hold on, let me... Hold on, let me... Yeah, let me do this real quick. Okay, I think I got it. So, basically, you just want to make sure this is tabbed together, this is uh, somewhat tabbed together, at least, and then there are tabs that will go into here. So, once you have all that done take this entire section right here and just well untie the black piece from the side of the torso like that and then make sure that this clears from the head because as you kind of saw as you kind of saw it loves to snag on the head so just be careful because half the back half of the head is painted i don't know why but it shouldn't have, I mean, I just don't know why. <laughs> so, got the, once you got that done, just bring the arms in. And then, just kind of bring them in. Make sure, you know what, make sure the, the wheels are clear before you try to bring the arm in. So, just do that, and tab that in, and... Ah, uh, you didn't see anything I saw, or I tried to show. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but you know what? Uh, I have to do it on this side anyway, so just bring that in like so. Bring the wheel up, and then bring this down. Tab that in right there. And then... Um, and then... I got I had to move these in for a moment just to make things easier but once you got this all straightened out and this one loves to not tab in I have no idea why but it just doesn't so okay <laughs> um, so now we now we have all that just tab the doors into the thighs like that, so that's all straight, and you just wanna, and this is the tricky part. The tricky part is lining all this up. So, here we go. That, tap all that in, and then tap that in, that, and that. Just make sure all this is tabbed in. That's the most important part. And it's not going to look the prettiest with all the panel lining and whatnot, but I mean, it's a very tiny uh, figure that's very compact, so just keep that in mind when you're messing, it, uh, messing with it. And there goes my phone with my emails. I think it's my emails. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um... But when it's all said and done, should look like this. And here's Bumblebee in his little in his little Volkswagen mode. And um, very cool figure. Um, transformation. When you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun. Um, and you can store the accessories. Like you can take this little battle mask right here, and you can just if I can get a grip on it. You can take this and kind of just tab it 
into the front. Sorry about that, I had to um, get a good view on that. So you can tap it in like that. So he kind of has like little, kind of looks like little antenna f coming from the bottom of, uh, from the bumper. <laughs> then you can take the gun, just tab that right there, and then the arm blade, you can just tab it into either arm. Me personally, I tab it in right there, and if you're not careful, you'll untab everything like I just did, so. It, but it's okay, you know, if you do that, you know, just tab everything back in. Which, I didn't really untab a, a lot, it was just this, apparently. This little door. So yeah, and he rolls. Oh, hold on, let me get, pan the camera down. He rolls, like rolling things should. Rolls pretty smoothly, actually. He's just sliding because this is like a wooden table. And, uh, yeah. And you could take him... And just plop them into your background, like so. Or you can do it in robot mode, which I will show you as I give you my final thoughts. So, final thoughts wise, good figure. It really is a good figure. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't know what to do because, you know, they just jump into the review. When, when they do video reviews of these things, they just expect to know everything and... Um, or it, it just seems like they expect to know everything and, you know, expect to do everything right the first time. And honestly, it took me like a couple tries to get everything to, um, you know, get everything flush and everything like that. And it's not easy to do. Like, it takes some finagling. It takes some time and... And that kind of thing to, you know, get things to where they need to go. I mean, it's not like, it's not like how in the past where it was complex, but these things were big enough where you could uh, figure it out. I mean, I don't know. It, it just, I don't mind the smaller size and I don't care how you get from point A to point B as long as you get there. But sometimes I just feel like people just jump into these things and, you know, expect to learn as they go. But honestly, that's not how Transformers work. I mean, you may want them to work that way, but it's just simply not that way. I mean, you, you have to take time into, you know, figuring it out. And if you don't have the time to figure it out, then, well... What are you doing buying Transformers for? I mean, I mean, you don't, uh, you can't just rush into this. It takes time. It takes effort. Well, maybe not effort, but it, it definitely takes time to, you know, figure out how to do things the right way. And that's okay. I mean, if you don't think it's okay, then you don't need to be buying Transformers. But if you do think it's okay, and you're good with it, and everything like that, then you're going to have no issues with this thing. At least not after, you know, figuring everything out. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, it's, it really is a good figure. Don't, uh, don't pay attention to those who's like, oh, it's a crappy figure because you can't get anything tabbed in. Meh, meh, meh. Don't listen to them. I mean, I'm not saying listen to me, but I'm just saying, you know, take your time, explore how the figure works, the engineering, all that, and you'll be good to go. So, yeah, I mean, it really is a good figure. And I would I would buy one for myself, but like I said, you know, issues with photographing these things and dioramas being so expensive and taking up a lot of space and whatnot. It really is a struggle for Transformers collectors, I feel. At least the ones who prefer, you know, bigger, more, you know, in scale with certain figures, um, whether they're Transformers or not Transformers. So, yeah. And there he is in the display. 
get rid of that glare for a moment. There you go. Pretty cool. And I'm sure my buddy is going to love this. Um, I don't know how often he's going to transform him. I don't know how often he's going to, you know, use him. But what I do know is this. He is a big Bumblebee fan. And he, um, he likes the Volkswagen design for the movie. And he and I are both really excited for it. Oh. Oh, also, um, don't bend the elbow too far or this is going to pop off. I mean, at least on this copy, um, I may take some super glue to that peg or something. But, um, yeah, don't bend it past that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a really good figure. I recommend it if you're excited for the Bumblebee movie. If you're not, um, also watch those wrists popping off. Um, if you're not excited for Bumblebee, then, you know, don't, don't get the figure. If you're not into the studio series, then don't get the figure. But if you're if you are into the studio series and you're excited for Bumblebee, then go out and get this figure. And it is a pretty good little figure. And it does pack a punch for a tiny figure. I keep saying figure a lot. I don't know why. But I mean, he is tiny and he is a figure. So <laughs> All right, well, I'm feeling a little lightheaded from talking, and I haven't eaten yet because I woke up at almost 11 and everything like that. So, um, yeah. So there you go. There is the Studio Series, or the Transformer Studio Series Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee. And I hope you found this helpful and informative, and... Uh, I will be doing a Star Wars review next, and what it is, I cannot tell. You will just have to wait and find out. Speaking of which, I really have to upload more videos, because I have some recorded. I just have to upload them. <laughs> so, anyway, good figure. Go out and get them if you're interested. If you're not interested, then, you know... Okay, you're not interested. <laughs> so, alright, have a good one. See you in the next video.